in the midst of wildland fire season in Wyoming, and over the weekend, two fires ignited and spread out of control. We begin today's trip around Wyoming with a look at the local firefighters' response. The Warland Fire Department responded to the 15-mile road area Saturday afternoon for a wildland fire sparked by a swather that hit a rock and ignited a field. The Warland Fire Protection District No. 1 shared these pictures of firefighters working to extinguish the flames. Then, Saturday evening, firefighters responded to the same area for an additional fire caused by farm equipment. No injuries reported in either incident. In North Bighorn County, search and rescue crews helped make a rescue Friday evening at the base of Porcupine Falls after a tree reportedly fell on four people. The rescue team executed a rope rescue to retrieve the victims safely. The injured people were then taken for medical care. No word on the extent of their injuries. Deputies South Search and Rescue, Lovell Fire, North Bighorn Hospital Ambulance and Air Medical all helped get them to safety. Looking for a place to safely light fireworks for Independence Day? The Bureau of Land Management's Warland Field Office is offering a location on public land. The first gravel pit along the road to the landfill northwest of Warland poses a low risk for a wildfire. This temporary local exception to the fireworks ban on public lands is valid for July 3rd through the 6th only. For more information, you can visit the Wyoming Bureau of Land Management's Facebook page. And that wraps up today's trip around Wyoming.